Hello everybody, this is Unreal Gaming HD and in today's video I'm going to show you I would say must have program especially for iRacing and it works only with iRacing if I'm right which is called JRT which stands for Joel Real Timing and uh, in today's video I will try to show you how to download it where to download it, how to install it and I will show you just basic things inside the program then there will be other part that will show you other things. So let's start off with where you can download it. I already have it on my desktop, but I'm gonna show you where you can actually download it. And it's over here on joel-realtiming.com. You can switch it into English. There you go. And then you have a download menu. You're just gonna put push download menu and if you click on version of a software, which is good because you can get even older version if for example newer one is not working correctly, you're just gonna push it and it's gonna automatically download it. So when you get it on the uh, in your PC, on your hard drive, just double click it. There we are. I'm just yawning, I'm sorry for that, but it's quite light and uh, I just wanted to do this video because I feel like it's needed. I haven't found any uh, way or any video that actually guides you step by step by step to understand uh, those things, uh, settings and all that better. So you just double click it. It will push OK. Not sure what's seenable in the stream now. There we go. And you gonna push next and it's pretty much up to you where you're gonna put it into your folder I just have a default C we're just gonna push next next create the desktop next and now install I'm not going to install because I already have it the important thing when there is a new update it automatically pops up the page we've seen a few seconds before from this page you will see another version just install it and don't worry about losing your data you are not going to use uh, your layers as you set them it's not gonna be default don't worry about that so we are going to run the program uh, I'm gonna switch it over here I'm just going to start it up and this is what pops up first such console, which is gonna be minimalized. Then, this is the GRT config. It's gonna come up every single time you're gonna launch it, unless you set it otherwise. I believe it's, it has an option to uh, switch it only whenever you want to. So, basically now, the console is reading what's happening, okay? important thing is this top thing which is port local IP or public IP I haven't found out or actually I know how to do it but I don't have a server if you have public server you can actually stream it from your PC to that public server so other people can have access to it as for now I'm using it on my local network which I'm using the local IP, which is understandable. So every single uh, device connected to my local network, which is for example Wi-Fi, can access through the HTML page data from JRT. So now when we're uh, the program running, we need to fill local IP. So I'm gonna switch to the other scene and I'm just going to, just a second, I'm just going to copy paste this number. Hopefully it's going to work, just copy paste to the browser. Now we can see it. So I'm gonna just write it 192.168.1.1. Now you can already see it tells me what to write next because I already saved it or it just remembers it. And the other thing is port. So you just gonna do the, that double thing, double dot, whatever, I don't know how it's called in English, I'm sorry. And port, which is 8,000. 
Now, when you've got it, you have to write something after the forward slash. Oh, it's not forward slash, it's the other, just a slash. And what you're gonna write there is on my middle screen. Just let's take a look at that. And it's if you go into the pages option, you will see all the things that are actually supported. You see? All of those tabs, if you're gonna write after the dash, uh, sorry, slash, after the slash, when you write local IP, double dot, 8000, slash, and any of these like track map two, timing two, timing one, calculator, all of those things have some purpose. So let's, for example, write there timing one, or not, just timing, okay? So I'm gonna switch again to this screen. And I'm going to write there timing, just like that, okay? And I'm gonna push enter. Error response. Okay, I've been struggling with this for a long time because I'm dumb, but this is not HTML. To make it, you have to write there something like .com or .eu, .net, and so on. In this case, it's .html. Let's push OK. And there we go, like a magic. This is actually last data from my last race, which was epic, by the way. Whatever. This page, what you can see, it's not the original one you will see when you start it up, because I already made adjustments to it. This video is just to show you how to install it, start up, and one more thing, which will be quite hard to show you, is to how to start up on your phone, for example, on your tablet, because it doesn't require third-party app from App Store or Google Store, whatever it's called, nothing like that. Only thing you operate it on your other devices that are, let's say, wirelessly connected to your network is through the browser by the same pattern. Open the browser, fill in the local IP, double dot, 8000, which is a port, slash what you need to find. I'm gonna show you one more trick that is probably better if you are, for example, displaying it on the same PC you're running the sim. The way it's this. Focus on this top line. This is the way. Instead of writing their IP, you're gonna write their localhost double dot 8000 and the dashboard it's pretty much the same let's do it with the timing so it doesn't confuse you what the dashboard is and there you are the same thing but it doesn't go to the server to the local server and from the server into a browser it goes directly let me try to show you it goes directly from the folder of JRT I will try to find it for you Hmm. Yo, uh, I found it. So it works. Uh, it looks like this. This is your Jolly Real Timing folder where you installed it, and all those HTML things are what we're seeing right now. Let's find timing one, and if I'm gonna just double push it, it's gonna open the same folder, and you see the name like that. file blah 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 and it's for the same way because it writes into the HTML for example 60 times per second I don't know the base on you set it information and it displays it in the browser that's the way it works so now when we have how I prepared it over here now we have it how to install it where to install it doesn't really matter what console does and what information you need from the console. And then we got closer with JRT config. And it's gonna be everything for today's video because you already know how to run it on your PC to display things and even on your third party devices like phone, tablet, notebook, whatever. Thank you for watching guys. I will link uh, 
link I will link link down the description to the other part that will be on my channel I, I just want to ask you for one thing share it on social medias and all that not because I want views even though I want of course but for other people in iRacing community to get in touch with this program because it makes your life easier it helps you to grow it helps you to keep uh, in touch with things happening around you even though you can't see them and it's really reliable source of information in case you're racing thank you guys very much for watching and i will see you with my other part cheers